as it is it's a matter of time before someone dies and later we live in a world where the likelihood of confrontation is unfortunately increasing so i want to have the skills to be able to get myself to safety some people are taking self-defense classes ahead of the U.S. presidential election. Under the Ron Neal Nunes with the BBC News. Participants at a two-day summit in Switzerland on exploring ways to end the war in Ukraine are expected to issue their final communique later today, reaffirming the territorial integrity of the country. The document is also expected to reject any threat or use of nuclear weapons against Ukraine. Russia wasn't invited to the summit and China is participating, leading some to question the summit's effectiveness. The French President Emmanuel Macron said more countries have been brought in to join those supporting any negotiations. I think increasing the pressure to have the truth on the Russian side is extremely important. I suggest that in parallel, we built all together a follow-up in order to enlarge the circle of countries joining our efforts, adding countries and not dividing the circle. Tens of thousands of Israelis have again demonstrated in Tel Aviv against the government on Saturday, calling for the release of hostages held by Hamas militants. The protests highlight the divisions in Israeli society, as the Israeli army has suffered its deadliest incident in months. When eight IDF soldiers were killed by a rocket fired at their armored vehicle. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to continue the war, saying the army must stick to its purpose. The Tsarabu, the Ebed Kavid, in deep sorrow, in heavy mourning, I bow my head together with all the citizens of Israel and mourn the fall of our heroic warriors. Despite the heavy and staggering cost, we must stick to the goals of the war destroying the military and government capabilities of Hamas, returning all our hostages, making sure that Gaza will no longer pose a threat to Israel, and returning our residents safely to their homes. The current against Israel Minister Yoav Gadam will soon visit Washington for talks with his U.S. counterpart. The date of the visit isn't near. Washington is pressing for a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of hostages held by Hamas. China's Premier Li Qiang is in Australia for a four-day visit, the first in seven years, by a high-ranking Chinese official. Mr. Li said bilateral relations with Australia were back on track. Here's been some back of the China is by far Australia's biggest trading partner, with a net exporter of precious metals and minerals needed for Chinese manufacturing. Two-way trade reached 216 billion U.S. dollars last year, but with those having now lifted punitive measures imposed in 2020 against a string of Australian exports like paint, timber and coal. Lee said in his landing remarks, mutually beneficial cooperation and a renewed friendship were on the table. World news from the BBC. New Caledonia's international airport is set to reopen on Monday after deadly civil unrest in the French Pacific Territory forced it to close last month. Local authorities said they were also shortening the overnight curfew by two hours. The restrictions were imposed after separatists began rampaging in Georgia's and Paris's plans to change voting rights. North Korea is said to be carrying out new construction work in the demilitarized zone that separates it from the south. Quoting an unnamed military source, the Yonhap News Agency said the North appeared to be building roads and walls on that side of the military demarcation line, running through the middle of the zone. Residents of Kano, northern Nigeria's largest city, have been angered by the cancellation of this year's spectacular traditional horse parade. Police have banned the Durban Festival over fears of clashes between supporters of the two rival claimants to the Kano throne. Here's Chris Iwoka. Kano is known for hosting the most spectacular Durban Festival each year. A celebration that attracts people from all over Nigeria, as well as Western tourists. The city has been on edge since the crisis erupted between the two rival areas, who both claimed the right to the traditional throne. The incumbent was served by the local parliament, and his predecessor was reappointed by the state governor. A legal battle is ongoing between the two areas. This will be the second time in decades that the Turba has been suspended. 
Nine people, including children, were wounded after a gunman attacked a water park in Rochester Hills, Oakland County, near the American city of Detroit on Saturday. Local police say the shooter had committed suicide. The motive for the shooting is not known. That's the latest ABC World News.